We're going to weigh in Essex. Naughty little triggles on display. That could only mean one thing. One prostitute, two prostitutes, three prostitutes, four prostitutes, five fucking prostitutes. It's here, it's now, it's game day. It's a long journey for us today as the Eagles travel two hours down the A120 where we will be playing Holland's in the first round, FA Vars qualifying round, it's Holland versus Letchworth Garden City Eagles in the FA Vars. It's quite possibly the biggest game in the club's entire history, and we've been stitched right up. How has a nation been allowed to enter this cup competition? Tulip picking, clog wearing, duchies. I wouldn't really worry about it. They always crumble in big tournaments. But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get into football news. So Holland finished 8th last season in the Furlow Nun League. They currently sit 16th. Paul Phelan, who used to be Concord Rangers manager. Here's our Holland stats look. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh shit. Here we go again. Another team we've never met before. So, with that all being said, let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's get into the next round of the cup. Don't have the same ring to it, does it? But we're off to Wembley. Up the Eagles! <laughs> Richard Marvel, defender. An absolute dream. Leo North, defender. Pepsi Thomas, defender. Arendo Sani, defender. Carl Oswald, midfielder. Holly Chart, midfielder. Sam James, captain. Ronnie Davis, striker. Mark Summers, striker. Danny Charles, midfielder. Harry got him in the field. And Ronnie Bates will get this history making game underway. Holland on the attack here as the ball is played along the edge of the area. Flav doesn't get enough on that connection. The block by Dempsey as he goes out to meet the ball. He's learnt from his mistake. Arms behind his back this time as Doy heads away. And Dempsey then finally clears. Flav looking to cross this. It's past Summers. Ronnie doesn't have the greatest of touches. And then Holland just cleared our lines. Summers looking to play a cheeky little through ball. It's cut out by Holland and lifted upfield. Holland Skibber collects the ball 20 odd yards out. I don't know who he was looking to play that to. Was that a cross or was that a shot, mate? Summers to take this free kick. It's not the greatest. It's a poor clearance. Slabhead decides to elbow someone in the back instead of jumping with the ball. 
and in Holland eventually clear their lines. Corner to Holland as five Holland players bunch together. This is a training grand special. No, it's not. It can't be the first man. As Sammy James clears the ball. And Holland have gone all the way back into their own half. Wow. And here we are playing total football once again. Trotty to Slabet to Sammy James. At to Richard. Into Sammy James again. To Summers. To Trotty. To Richard. Into Ronnie who drops the shoulder. He fancies it on his left foot. Conversion. Cole playing through the centre. He fancies that. That's 30 yards out. No, he only fancies that one. It's 20 yards out. No, we're into the 10, into the 5, into a throw-in. There hasn't been a lot to talk about in this first half. Holland did start the bright for about 10, 15 minutes, but then was blown out of their ask and asking the ref how long to go. So as you can tell, this is an hard watch. Watching it back after I watched it live. And you can tell just from this first half why both teams was never going to score. Why seven winds up a shot. A free kick for Holland. He's kicked, don't even make his own man. <laughs> but somehow they've got a goal now. They're lining up with that training grand special again. They've decided to throw themselves on the floor. The referee's not having none of it. Tells him to get up and get out of it. Not long till half time, still nil-nil. Got to keep it simple after Richard decides to kick a player to give away a free kick there. This will be the last play of the first half. Ball's whipped all the way in and no one went for it. The team that plays the set pieces are not very good at them and that tough watch of the first half has been called on. Nil-nil. Just lacking that bit of quality. You can see what they're about. Physical side, they're getting to baseline set pieces. In the middle of the park, you're all the same player. So we ain't got no one who gets the water pipes to unlock them. They're slow at the back, they're actually busted. I need someone with a bit of energy to run their back for all over the place. On the plus side, massively organised, keeping the ball very well. You took the wind out of their cells. They was pumped up in this game, and you get the ball and you let them burn so much energy. Now, when the ball goes out to the center side, both teams just nullifying each other. Start off like the beginning, they're fucked. You raise your tempo and we ain't got a problem. And Holland get this second half underway with the score currently still nil-nil. Let's hope the boys are taking on the encouraging words from Marv at half time. Holland's have collected the ball just outside the area. They've had a shot. I think that's the first shot of this game. <laughs> Holland's very own CR7 ready to smash this free kick off the back of the head of the Romanian Usain Bolt. That will be a corner. Summers has collected the loose ball. Ronnie to his right. Summers fancies in on his weaker foot. Ronnie is not happy. He did not get put through. Summers few mixed words as well. That would go down as one of the greatest debates in history. Should Summers put through Ronnie? Was the dress gold and white or blue and purple? He certainly not take that. Chalk or cheese? Trotty will lift this over to Richard. He's looking to play the ball in. Summers has run into his lane. He's got a shot off and to keep it safe with his feet. That will be a corner. Corner in by Sammy. A Doyen Dempsey up for the same ball. Goal kick. Flav driving forward down his left hand side. Sunny in front of him. He's decided to cut inside. Ronnie's there. He's played it through to Summers. Summers has passed it to Ronnie. I don't believe it. Only for Ronnie to shit his pants and don't know what to do with the ball on the edge of the area instead of playing it back to Summers. Ball play through to Ronnie. Ronnie with a first time shot. Defender blocks it. Will be a throw in. And the referee has just sin binned two Holland players. 20 minutes to go. They're down to nine men. Trotty to ping the ball in. Summers, who does his best karate kid impression. I'm glad it wasn't that bad. Still nil-nil. Total football's come out once again. Even though Holland are currently down to nine men, they are holding firm. As we carry the ball out from our own half of Richard, the most handsome man in football, plays into Trotty. Trotty into Carl. Horrible little bobble on that. Was it a bad touch? Plays into Flav. Back to Carl. There is an orange wall there. Trump would be impressed with that. Trotty out wide to Richard. Into Vader. Can't really see what's going on there because number eight's been lazy and just cheating at it. But it's been a shot. Deflected from the keeper, Flav, what can he do? Again, 18 is just standing there, get your fat ass out of the way. Coe has a shot, and it's gone for a goal kick. Sonny, the cross is in, 
Vader will meet that. He's just gone over. The attacks are coming. We can't break them down. Shoot on site specialist fancies it. He's going to keep his hand. I cannot believe what he's seeing. Bottom good free kick. It's now 11 v 11. Their boys are back on the pitch and they've only gone and scored. Typical just our luck. Oh, hang on, Chunky. It's been ruled off with offside. I like it. Corns to Letchworth as Summers goes for a scissor kick. Maybe 20 years ago, mate. Not nowadays. Vader's a line this one up. Two guys at the front post. He's whipped it all the way to the back post. Common sense. Vader's being held up in the corner. Flabs down the line. He's played out himself. And he's had another shot on sight. Straight into the keeper's hands. Shoot on sight. Plays into Sonny. Just outside the area. He fancies it. He's had a shot. It's Bob. He's in. Back of the goal. Get in there. an absolute moment for this young man with a bright future ahead of him and that is it the game is over we have beaten Holland 1-0 in the 93rd minute Ronnie what do you think of that mate wonderful start great squad effort the few things we have to work on on the training field we all contributed and more importantly you've done something that no one can take away from you You've actually created history for the club first time they've been in here and just got through to the next round they used to be proud of themselves they cannot take that away from you Sonny, we've just won 1 0 against Holland in the FA Vars. You scored the winning goal, put this club to the next round. That is history making. How do you feel? Pretty, pretty amazing feeling when, when it went into the back of the net, running over to the bench. Probably the best feeling I've had playing football, just seeing everyone like, jumping all over me and stuff. It was good. So the game finished. Holland 0, Letchworth Garden City Eagles 1. That game had 0 0 written all over it. Going to penalties all day long. That's all you need. Two hour journey there, goalless game, and possibly to lose on penalties could there have been a worse way to spend your Saturday but a beautiful bit of magic in the 93rd minute unlocked something and now we're into the second qualifying round or whatever it's called it's probably about 7 million qualifying rounds before you get to the first round proud that the lads never gave up battled all the way to the end I thought that was just our luck when they went down to 9 men we couldn't break them down they come straight back on the pitch and then they put the ball in the back of the net the chairman set the tone yesterday by sending the lads some words of wisdom. Morning, lads. Just wish you guys all the best for today's first time we've ever got here. If you're not up for these games, you're never going to be up. Do yourselves proud. Leave everything on the pitch. Got my fingers crossed. Good luck today, boys, and I'll catch you all soon. Football's a funny old game with plenty of cliches, and you're only as good as your last game is definitely one of them. Where we're back in league action this Saturday against Moulton, 3 p.m. kickoff. You know what to do. Tyler.